All right, springtime, 2022. We got Little League Baseball season starting up. And I just wanted to use this opportunity to point out a testimonial regarding my experience with Dr. Perry L. Savage, Sr. Uh, he's an orthopedic doctor. And Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports. In this video, you can see many of my records, uh, many of my images that I scanned in, and uh, you can view uh, everything that happened to me on my YouTube channel. It's My Medical Nightmare. I have over 15 hours of video documentation on my injury. I had a very serious uh, head trauma, as well as a basilar uh, skull fracture, uh, breakage, uh, bone damage. And this is in the area of the occipital condyle, condylar canal, forming magnum. I uh, had several emergency room scans, x-rays, MRIs, CT scans. When I put these images uh, before uh, Dr. Perry Savage, and I showed him the key uh, frames and images that showed the broken bone in my skull, uh, as well as the MRI pictures that showed uh, the massive infection uh, that had filled this area uh, in my upper neck and my head uh, because my injury was misdiagnosed and mismanaged for about a year. I was uh, holding printed out picture of broken bone in my skull, um, six inch diameter infection. Uh, I had these on a disc that he put in the computer as well. Uh, he told me that no, there were no injuries that appeared in these uh, images. And this was absolutely not true. It's not acceptable how I was treated. And uh, Dr. Savage, uh, I need to have a word with you, sir. Ben Jeter, PAC, uh, he's an assistant to the Savages there at uh, Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports. He entered the room and also looked at my images, uh, sat back silently. If you got bone injuries, uh, you're in the Birmingham Trustful Alabama area of uh, Take my testimony uh, to heart. Uh, please consider my words. Save your money and go to another doctor, please, uh, because uh, this place, uh, they're not going to give you good treatment. That's my experience. All right, this is a September 4th, 2019 visit with Dr. Perry L. Savage, Sr. And this was done at Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports. And if you ask most people where this location is, they'll tell you this is trustful. But it's, uh, it's on the edge of the city limits, and it's uh, technically in Birmingham. 1801 Gadsden Highway, Birmingham, Alabama, 35235. All right, so on this date, I had an appointment uh, with Dr. Savage. He graduated from the University of Alabama School of Medicine in 1968. And uh, he has over 50 years experience as an orthopedic surgery specialist. So I made this appointment. This was over a three hundred dollar uh, visit. I had to wait in the waiting room of this place. It was uh, packed out, full of people. Uh, waited more than two hours, and I saw this doctor uh, at the end of their uh, working day, uh, right before they closed. I left this place, and it was uh, very close to six p.m. in the evening. All right, so at this time, I had a very serious head trauma-based injury. And I will show the images that I had done of this area. I had x-rays. I had computed tomography. That's CT scans done. With contrast, without contrast, uh, within the same uh, time frame. We're talking spring summer 2019 
also had uh, MRI scans done and I took all of my images on a CD disc and I printed out several images I took them to this doctor Perry L. Savage Sr. Uh, for him to examine and I believe with his uh, 50 years experience it should fully be within his uh, capability range and uh, and skills to adequately provide some kind of opinion and analysis and diagnose this injury that I had. Alright, so I could not believe what this doctor told me. First of all, he said my pictures were basically not good enough. I had many of them done by St. Vincent's Hospital of Birmingham, Alabama and their various uh, satellite offices. So he writes here, I went and got my records later uh, from Ortho Alabama Spina Sports and Perry Savage, and I will show them here. Uh, Dr. Savage, he says, I am unable to explain his pain. Recommend he go to UAB or Mayo Clinic, refer to neurology or neurosurgery at UAB. All right, uh, reviewed outside C spine MRI in depth with patient, it appears normal. Reviewed a few slides of CT that he copied on paper. Not diagnostic, would need CT. All right, well, I showed him, um, showed him two CT scans I had done. And I'll show you here the pictures of my injury. So I'm sitting there, and I believe either my neck is broken or my skull is broken. And uh, by this point, I was leaning more toward uh, the fact of my skull being broken just based on what I was able to observe in the pictures but, uh, compared to uh, the pain that I had. It's an area on the left side of my head, and maybe technically it's in my upper neck. The main wound at this point, it is in, um, it's in the upper area of my neck beneath my skull. And uh, what I believe happened to me was I broke the underside of my skull. This is a bass or skull bone injury. And it was either uh, broken, and I believe you can see uh, pieces, fragments of the bone of my skull in these uh, images. And uh, by the time I got to Dr. Savage, this area had become infected. And uh, I believe it was also infested by... Uh, parasites at this point uh, because uh, I'd had this injury for about a year and it had not been diagnosed correctly and it had not been adequately treated in over a year. I'm sitting there in the room with uh, Perry Savage and I'm, I'm trying to convince him and show him uh, how serious this is and he's sitting there and I'm showing him a picture of uh, a basal or uh, skull bone damage and this is in the area of my occipital condyle condor canal and possibly a uh, forum and magnum okay and uh, and as a patient I had to go and uh, research this stuff on my own because I kept going to doctors paying lots of money and then having them um, not give me a proper uh, diagnosis the wound in these pictures it's about three inches in diameter he looked at these pictures that I showed him, and he told me uh, that there were no injuries in these pictures, and he writes this in his records. All right, so while I'm sitting there with um, Dr. Perry L. Savage Sr., another man entered this room where the, um, the medical uh, encounter and the interview and the uh, examination was taking place. And this man he did not ever introduce himself uh, that's not professional uh, Dr. Perry L. Savage with his 50 years experience uh, he did not introduce me to this gentleman and that's not professional either and um, you know so I'm sitting there in this uh, doctor's encounter is taking place uh, a strange man enters the room and he sits down and he starts looking at the images that I had on my um, my disc on this uh, computer that I had set up in the uh, examination room. And the guy, he never said a word. Uh, he was just thumbing through the images when, uh, when Perry Savage wasn't looking at him. 
So I went back and I looked at uh, images of the various staff of Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports, and I believe that this man, he is Ben Jeter. Ben Jeter, P-A-C, and he is a physician assistant. And it says here, physician assistants are healthcare providers who are educated at medical schools in the medical model. They are trained to diagnose and treat illness as well as provide preventative care partnership with a physician supervisor. The C indicates that a PA is certified by the National Commission of Certification of PAs. This certification requires 100 hours continuing medical education every two years on passing a national recertification exam every six years to maintain a very important C. This guy never talked to me until I left. And um, after the examination was done, uh, I left this encounter um, and verbally stated that, you know, I believe I had something wrong with me that the doctor uh, did not accurately uh, detect. And then uh, Perry Savage and this gentleman, they left the room. I imagine they uh, spoke and uh, yeah, outside of my presence. And, um, and then when I was called to leave after a few minutes of, uh, of sitting in this room by myself, uh, this gentleman, he finally uh, uh, told me that I could leave. And uh, he said that this appointment uh, would be set up uh, I was referred to uh, UAB Neurology, Dr. Mina Lubos, and he told me that um, somebody would call me in a few days, which they never did. I had to wait uh, many, many days, and uh, I had to call them back uh, to find out this appointment uh, was scheduled. Uh, it's not professional. Uh, physician assistant. Ben Jeter, uh, it looks like he now does some work for P. Lauren Savage, that's the son at Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports, and they have a Hoover location, a Birmingham location, and uh, yeah, just, just as in summary, I was misdiagnosed by a very experienced doctor, uh, Perry L. Savage, in this visit, and uh, you can see here my injury, you can see the records. Uh, you can uh, listen to my experience and uh, in my advice to anybody who's considering going to this uh, practice, Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports, uh, save your money, uh, go somewhere else because uh, I had a very serious injury, very uh, expensive injury and, uh, and look what happened to me. Uh, so. Uh, do some research on these doctors uh, before you go and you spend uh, several hundred dollars uh, just to be misdiagnosed and uh, turned away like I was. And you can see, uh, I have uh, other videos on my experience at Ortho Alabama Spine and Sports. You can view them on my YouTube channel. This is my medical nightmare. And I have over 10 hours video documenting uh, my injury because I had a real hard time um, having this thing treated and diagnosed properly. Uh, I don't have insurance. I don't have an income or a job. And what I found was, uh, because of this, uh, doctors routinely uh, would patient dump me. Uh, 